Hi there guys, it's Juliet here from Spoil Rotten Beads and welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to show you how to make a lovely daisy chain necklace like the ones that I'm wearing today using size 8 seed beads, 4mm Preciosa pearls or 4mm fire polish beads. I've got a lovely summer brights colourway to show you which is just beautiful. It's really bright and pretty, perfect for wearing over a t-shirt in the summer um, or on the beach. It's really colourful. It's very quick and easy to do, so stick with me and I'm going to show you how to get making. There's a free pattern that you can download from our website, www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk. We're also doing a lovely limited edition kit for this Summer Brights colourway, so that will be on the website as well, and I'll make sure that there's a link on this video to the correct page on the website. And if you're watching this video from outside of the United Kingdom, don't worry because we will ship to you all over the world. Okay, let's get making. Okay, so here are the lovely daisy chain necklaces um, that we've made in the shop here. Um, I've raided everyone's jewelry stash because we've all got some of these and they're so pretty and easy to wear. But I wanted to show you how you can use this same pattern and how it looks slightly different depending on which beads you use. So this is the one I'm going to demonstrate for you today where I've used size 8 seed beads here for the the, uh, in between the daisies and then I've used different color size eights around um, the pearls here to make the little daisy shapes and this one I've used nine size eight seed beads to make this smaller daisy whereas this one here which was made by Vivian she's used 10 size eight seed beads and it makes a little bit of a larger daisy chain so if you want a bit more impact with your daisies then you could use nine beads around but I've used sorry ten beads around but I've used nine so these are both made using size 8 seed beads and a 4 mil Preciosa pearl in the centre of each of the daisies. Whereas these two here are also made with size 8 seed beads, but we've used 4mm fire polish beads in the centre of our daisies here. This one we've got a different colour surround to the daisy with a toning centre here. Whereas this one we've used all the same colour galvanized silver seed beads all the way around to make the daisies but then different colors of four millimeter fire polish in the center of the daisy so i think it's really interesting to see how you can adapt this pattern the other thing is that if you make your necklace really nice and long then what you can do is tie a little knot um, halfway or part way down the um, the daisy chain, possibly towards the end, and it will just create a little focal point where um, where when where the knot is. This is a double knot here, which um, you can use to either shorten the necklace um, if you want to wear it shorter, um, or just to create that focal point on the necklace there. So a few different options there for you. So I'm going to show you how to get started now. Okay, so to make the necklace in this lovely summer brights colorway I'm using three different colors of the luminous Miyuki size 8 seed beads so this is luminous plum crazy I've got luminous lime aid and luminous flamingo then I have got some size 8 seed beads in um, pearl white pearl salon white salon um, but it will work equally well in um, a plain white size 8 or um, any of the pearl or cream salon colors will work very well or you could use silver line crystal or silver that would work equally well with the colors that I've got here and then I've got some four millimeter preciosa pearls and I've got these in the iridescent white color which I think works really well with the luminous shades because it just mirrors and slightly picks up the tones of those luminous seed beads so then what you need to do is take a size 10 beading needle and thread it up with the longest length of fire line that you're happy working with. And um, you, in an ideal world, just you won't need to join on any fire line with this project. You can just do it in one long length of fire line and there won't be a need to add any more thread on. Um, so if you want to make a nice long necklace and I suggest you use around a meter or a meter and a half of fire line, um, it, um, you can always pull the tail of the thread quite far down um, so that it's not too hard to work with and then just let more thread out as you go along. So I've threaded up my needle with a nice long length of fire line. What I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to pick up one of the four millimeter glass pearls because I'm going to use this as a stopper bead. So I'm going to take this down towards the tail of my thread 
and I'm going to leave quite a nice long tail because later on I'm going to show you how to weave that tail into your work to finish it off. I'm going to go back through that four millimeter pearl there so that my thread then sits around the outside of the pearl like so um, and later on when we're done then we can remove this pearl um, because it's just acting as a stopper bead at the moment. Okay, so now what you need to do is to, um, if you want to make the same necklace that I've made here in these summer brights, you need to pick up 25 of your white beads. So I'm going to count while I do that so I don't lose my place. But of course you can play around with the spacing of the daisies on this necklace. But I've got a gap of 25 size 8 seed beads. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I've got 25 of my white seed beads on now. And now I'm ready for my first daisy. And I'm doing these daisies with nine size eight seed beads each time. So I'm gonna pick up nine seed beads now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to let those drop down next to my white seed beads there. And now I'm going to go back up through all nine of those seed beads that I just added. And as I pull this tight now, I'll go around and kind of form a little circle like so. Now ready for the centre, so I'm going to pick up a four millimetre bead, so I've got four mil pearl here, but as I said, this pattern works equally well with a four mil fire polish. I'm going to lay that over my circle and I'm going to go up through the opposite bead. And um, in order to make your daisy sort of sit right, you so that it doesn't sort of sit at an angle, so it sits nice and sort of squarely in the center of your chain here, you need to be going um, in through the top seed bead from the opposite side to where you're exiting the bottom seed bead. So I'm exiting this bottom seed bead here and I'm gonna go through this seed bead sort of diagonally opposite, if that makes sense. And if I pull now, that'll sit nicely there. And I'm now ready for 25 more of my white beads. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So that's twenty-five more of my seed beads there and I'm going to pick another colour now for my next daisy so I'm going to pick nine of this luminous light limeade colour that's four five six seven eight nine and again I'm just going to repeat the same thing that I did with the purple flower I'm going to go back up through those nine seed beads in that luminous limeade Pull it round so I've got my little circle shape and then pick up a four mil bead. Check out where I need to go in to position my four mil bead across the flower like so. You can kind of eyeball the bead you need to go into and stitch through. And it really is as quick and as easy as that. So I'm going to carry on beading until my necklace is the, the length that I'm happy with and I'm just going to show you how to finish off, how to join up the two ends of your necklace together. Okay so I've been beading for a while now, I'm happy with the length of my necklace, I'm finished off on my last daisy here and I need to join this last daisy to the very first set of 25 white beads there. So I'm coming out of this daisy here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this thread that I'm working with and I'm going to do that by stitching down through a few of the beads in my daisy and hooking underneath the thread in between a few beads. 
so that I get a loop like that. I can then go through the loop and that creates a knot which I can then pull nice and tight and that knot will slip down in between two beads. I'm going to repeat that by again hooking down underneath between two beads, creating a loop, go through the loop and just pull that loop so that the knot that you've created just sits between two beads. Stitch through a few more beads and repeat that process a few more times. This will make sure that it's really nice and secure before you trim off your tail of thread. So again, I'm just hooking through there, pulling it tight, doing it again there and pulling it tight. Stitch through a few more beads before I do it again. There we go. Um, and then just pull that last knot inside a few beads. Okay, so that's finished off my working thread there. Just gonna slide off my needle and I am gonna pop my needle um, onto the tail thread. But before I do that, I'm just gonna remove that bead that we used at the beginning as a stopper bead. So I just slid that off the end of my work. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the needle back onto the tail thread here there we go and now what I can do is join up my tail with my um, with my last little daisy here so I can stitch through the last seed bead um, last few seed beads there on the end of the daisy and pull the work up together like so and I'm going to stitch all the way around this daisy now I'm stitching all the way around the daisy just to anchor that thread in place. There we go. So I've stitched all the way around the daisy and now I'm going to go back down through some of those very first 25 white beads that we added before again tying some half hitch knots. So I'm going underneath between two beads so I get a loop, go through the loop and pull tight underneath between two beads. So you get a loop and pull tight. To pull inside a few beads, repeat that process a few more times. The more times you do this, then the more secure your finished piece will be. So I'm just tying some half hitch knots as I go all the way along here. Pulling it tight, making sure that those knots slip between two beads. Again, I'm going to keep going until I get all the way back to that very first daisy and then I'm going to tie this is why you need a decent length, decent tail. Then I'm going to tie just a couple of half hitch knots around that very first daisy that we made, just so it's really nice and secure before I trim off my thread. There we go. So this really is a nice, simple project. It's great if you've got beads in your stash you want to use up because you can really vary the little four mil beads that you use as the center of your daisies. Really sweet. There we go. So I think I'm happy with that now. I'm gonna pull my thread inside a few beads and I'm now ready just to trim off my two tails of thread. So, and then my necklace will be ready to wear. So there we go, there is my daisy chain necklace in the beautiful Summer Brights colours. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please let us know what you think in the comments below um, and check back soon for more inspiration. Bye bye guys.